All right, hello everybody. I'm a uh, still sculptor from Ashford in Kent. I had a commission for an octopus in a chap's garden and uh, up in the Midlands. And that's where these lovely photographs are coming from. So this film is about the painting and installation of Dave's octopus. And it's Dave and Tracy. I used a number of things on this, all scrap material on this one, um, an old rusty base and an old fence post that kind of looks like but a sea wall and in fact I used it on my uh, piece of sculpture and one of my five pieces on home is where the art is so as seen on television and it's got a little bit of organic sort of imprint in the piece of wood as well so a bit of post sat on the top of that this was my base and I've made the base adjustable as well it's got a little turn screw on it so you can tilt it about so it's uh, touching in three places and one of them slightly adjustable um, the idea is, 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 is we're going to hang lots of things off the tentacles. You know, Octopus has got eight tentacles and uh, there's always a few spare for dangling things on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you want to be sort of off the ground a little bit, not bending over, I've sort of brought the octopus up a little bit higher. But it might sort of make it a little bit unbalanced if you dangled too many bits one side or heavy things one side. So I thought it was important to be able to adjust the base anyway. So that's what I've done. And um, with the painting of this thing, obviously it was uh, uh, galvanised, then powder coated, then etched primed a little bit, and then me spraying and flicking lots of colours on board. Now, what I've realised with octopuses is, is they can be pretty much any colour they want it to be, to be honest. Um, yeah, you just look at any octopus throughout the different parts of the world, they seem to be able to blend in whatever their circumstances, you know, whatever the surroundings are. So I felt like I could be a bit brave with this and basically paint it till it looked good. So that's what I did. Uh, it worked quite late into the night. Wanted to get this delivered. The uh, Dave has got a very serious operation coming up and uh, he was getting himself prepped for that. And from what I understand, he hasn't had that operation yet, but uh, good luck, Dave. I hope that all works out. Oh, anyway, here's me delivering it. Do you want us in it? Oh, well. You're, how, however you no, want. I don't want to be in it. You can do it if you want, but basically it's just, yeah, should we do it? One, that two, three. Shoo-hoo! Oh, it's fantastic. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, that God, that's so the reaction good. I wanted. So well. Oh, that's really so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, COVID. I can't shake your hand. No, I'll no. give you a hug. Brilliant. Oh no, that is so good, and it's yeah, so good is, there. It is galvanised. If yeah. you want to mess about with the colours of this thing, and no, I love that colour. About, you're very welcome to. Yeah. It's it's uh, either. So there you have it, another satisfied customer, and uh, again, very enjoyable sculpture to do this one. And the painting of, it, the painting of it was very successful. And Dave and Tracy are very happy with it as well. So good luck, Dave, with the future. I hope your operation is every success. Um, and uh, I hope you get as much joy from this uh, sculpture. It certainly fits your garden very nicely. And I know there's a number of other suitable places within the garden that we can easily move it to. So, uh, yeah, great fun. And, of course, it has been galvanised and powder coated. So, yeah, as I was saying to the customer, that uh, if you ever want to continue and paint these things yourself and liven them up, you can do all right, this is Steve Ritchie signing off. Thank you very much. Another successful installation. Thank you now. Bye. Thank you.